been with the president who were in just about 10 days, eight days, President Muhammadu Bari, eight years to know, will come to an end. In this report, correspondent John Felix underscores major political activities that took place under the president's watch. Here's the report. President Muhammadu Buhari's government rode into power in 2015 under the chain mantra, promising Nigerians a better deal than the then president, Good Luck Jonathan's administration offered. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. Assessing the politics of Mr. President, how well has he fared with his populist mantra? Did he do the right thing to have stayed aloof even when PDP's Bukola Saraki emerged as president or the batteries of anti party activities that took place under his watch? It's politically naive because uh, there were certain things he did when he came on board that a politically experienced person will not do. Take, for instance, the issue of uh, uh, the ascension of uh, Saraki to the Senate uh, presidency. Uh, he came on board telling us that uh, it was for everybody and uh, it was for nobody. I, I want to tell you that uh, uh, he, he did so much to our politics in terms of uh, the, the bad side now. Buhari never coordinated this country well to have a coherent system. Even the, some of his close allies accused him of uh, wanting to dish them. You remember that um, some of the policies that his government took, uh, uh, the president-elect today uh, was not so happy about those policies. The president-elect now felt that those policies in respect of Nara redesign and the lingering fuel situation in the country were designed to undercut him. And he mentioned that specifically uh, so that, um, so much so that uh, people felt that uh, he was actually trying to decimate the campaign of uh, Ashiwa Jubola. The Buhari's administration has maintained that it has been one of the best things that has happened to the country. But then, what significant strides did the president attain politically? We, we have had two changes of government under him. And uh, those changes have come largely peaceful. And so that's um, a measure of uh, success. Because we didn't have serious crises. Uh, we didn't hear people killing themselves and things like that. And um, you talked also about uh, changing the democracy. I don't see that as anything, um, any big achievement. Anybody can change the day. Once you have executive power, you, you can change the date of anything and, um, and nobody will question you. One thing that I was able to achieve was that uh, he organized, to me, whether somebody likes it or not, I me insist, I still maintain that the last election was an improvement on the previous ones. People condemned this last election on the basis of uh, INEC, or is it INEC, not transmitting uh, results, uh, uh, not uploading online. And, and, and I think that is not even contained in the Electoral Act. Apart from that, Beavers actually exposed the ills in our local electoral system. The agitations in parts of the country, such as activities of IPOB, Yoruba Nation, Shite, amongst others, that has remained unreserved under President Boris' watch, speaks volume to his leadership qualities and capacity. From Abel Kota, the Ghost State Capital, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television News.